sleepy, 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 sleepy. Hay fever is not my friend this morning. Um, I need to make sure I dose up on my tablets, okay? It is brewery tour day. Um, I don't quite know actually how much you're going to see of this. Because I don't know how much you can film in there. Obviously I've done the gin distillery tours. But I don't know if brewery tours are different. Also I'm going with Dada. And this is kind of our first father daughter trip let's just say and um we all know he's camera shy so i don't know how this is gonna go i am gonna ask him if he can get some footage when we're on the road i'll literally just be like i'll press all the buttons and can you just hold it there for a few moments but i don't know how that's gonna go so we shall see but yes it actually feels very hot out there already i don't know what i want to wear i think i want to wear something like flowing but obviously i've got to have suitable footwear because a lot of the times in the breweries and distilleries well distilleries i know you have to go up like steps and that so i didn't want to be in slippery sandals and also it's about i think it's two and a half three hours away so we're gonna have a slow drive up there probably stop off he's gonna want some breakfast i think not too much because we have got a sunday dinner i've managed to find a local pub which is like five minutes from the brewery so i've booked in there for us to go and grab some sunday lunch i've got my eye on the roast beef already already got my eye on the roast beef so yeah we are going to it's called the cotswold brewery co or hawkstone brewery and it's in cheltenham around the cotswolds area so yeah i need to fill up with petrol that's the main thing as well because otherwise we're not going to get there in bug and yeah who knows what the day is gonna take i'm thinking do i take my sunglasses as well for driving because i think i'm gonna need to because yesterday oh yesterday i done eighteen thousand steps again i think it was and oh I should have took me sunnies i thought yeah i'll walk into town oh i've just bought new prescription sunglasses so i need to use them but it has just gone I think it's just gone six-ish. I've been up since about half four doing a bit of editing and bits and bobs. So I think what I'm going to do now is run a quick bath. Nothing jazzy, maybe just like some stress relief or me eucalyptus just to zen me for the day. And then when we come out, we have the task of deciding what to wear. Because as I say, I'm very finickety and it's all got to go with the footwear. So yes, spend the day with us at a brewery. Who knows how much footage we're going to get, eh? <laughs> Bath done, I still need to wake myself up. You know when you're just like, meh. That's me right about now. Um, I still have no clue what I'm gonna wear. Still have no clue. The hair is dry shampooed up to oblivion. I was thinking of actually not wearing makeup, but I think I wanna try and maybe get some filming done when I get back. So I'm like, put it on and then if you don't decide to film, it's not a problem, you can take it off. But if you do decide to film, you've been proactive, it's already on there. So, yeah, it does feel quite nice. I'm thinking like jumpsuit because then at least I could still get away with that with trainers. Because so I need to have sensible footwear, I don't want to be driving in flippy flops just in case. And I want to have suitable footwear because obviously for the tour if we're going up on things right i think i definitely need some primer today oh yeah yeah good job the old um glasses need a cleaner <laughs> what a morning how have you all been guys yes my baby's hungry don't worry we're gonna stop at a service station we're gonna feed you and then you can have a nice big sunday dinner okay don't growl at me I'm really hoping that I can find a Burger King open because Burger King breakfast is what I've been wanting 
ever since I went up to Newcastle. And was Burger King open for breakfast on that time? No. So I am praying as soon as I see your services with Burger King, I'm going to be like, yes. And if they're not open, I'm going to be like, mm hmm, hmm. What is going on here? I need to speak to Burger King people at service stations and be like, look, a service station, you've got people coming in 24 7. We need Burger King goodness 24 7. But yes, how have you all been, my lovelies? Have you had any nice weather? Has that come upon you yet? Um, I know I was speaking to Brogan the other day and she was like, oh my god, Shan, everyone is down the beach. I was like, I would actually dread to think what the beaches are like in Essex. I feel like you would have to be up at the crack of dawn to get down there. So, yeah, if you're um, in the Essex or Cambridgeshire area, do you have any beaches nearby you? How has it been? Have you noticed a sudden influx? Which I know, like, when you see certain villages, they're like, nope. Tourists, you can go, we don't want you on our beaches, but I mean a beach is a freedom place, ain't it? So yeah, I I don't really like going to the beaches in England, probably because I've never really found a nice, nice one. I think if I live like maybe countryside in vibes and like I don't know, Cornwall for example, I'd probably be more inclined. But our nearest beaches are like South End. And there's nothing wrong with surfing, but it gets heaving. And you have to be up at the crack of dawn. And I'm just like, I'm not really about that. I'm not really about that. I am still using the absolute remnants of this. Because as I say, this stuff pricey. So I'm making sure I get every single ounce out of it. What are the plans for today then? We've got the brewery tour. So first off, I need to go and pick Dada up. Well, no. First thing is get fuel. Then get Dada. Then probably stop off for some brekkie. If there is no Burger King open, I will settle for a Costa. I could actually really have a nice iced coffee or a Starbucks. Then we've got the brewery tour. Then it's going to be a quick mad dash around the gift shop because I've got to be at the pub. We've got that booked for half two. Have that and then drive home. And then I am FaceTiming Brogan tonight. And then I was, as I say, trying to do some filming, but it all depends what time I get back. Because I'm not too sure. Hopefully there's no traffic. But as soon as you hit the M25, people, if you're down south, you know the M25 can be an absolute washout. So, uh... Yeah, I'm hoping that's not going to be the case. And yes, I am just kind of hacking at my eyebrows slightly because I've got a few odd hairs that are creeping around. I need to actually do my eyebrows properly, but needs must. I've also got out my, um, where did I put it? Oh, I think I put it back in the drawer. Found my dark root spray. Because still living in a dry shampoo, sorry if that causes offence to people. But yeah, but obviously now I have darker hair, sometimes you can see a little bit of the dry shampoo even when brushed out. So yes, I need to um, have my dark root. Oh my goodness, what is happening with my mascara lately? You know when you just get, I've got that horrible clump right at the end and I keep trying to get it off. And do you think it comes off? I've got you now, you sucker. Let's have a look. I have got the full one of this, but I like to use my baby one just to use it up before opening the big one. But yeah, so um, we are off to the Cotswolds today, and then I've got this week at work, and then the following week is when I go away Thursday, Friday for my little detox, little detox, and a little chill out which i'm actually very looking forward to as i say i'm not filming this one i'm literally just going i'm only going for thursday friday i'll be back saturday because on sunday me and mum are up london shop but uh yeah just have a little zen detox try and get a little hiking because i think this place is a bit more 
easier to get to on a hike or like to do a hike on there so yeah we'll see how it goes and then if I do love it and I go back I can bring you back for the second time but yeah I loved all you guys in the comments when you was like Shan it's fine because I actually genuinely feel bad now if I go and do something I feel bad because I'm like I want to take you guys along like when I come back from that on the Saturday on the Sunday me and mum are going to a thing in London uh, Roman ruins in London somewhere and I thought, you know what, people probably ain't going to give two hoots about some ancient Roman ruins in London. But I was like, I still want to vlog it. Because number one, it's memory days for me and mum. And also, I do want to bring you guys along in case anyone is actually interested in stuff like that, like me. And of course, we'll probably be a nice little bit of food or we'll be cooking or whatever. But yeah, but this one, this one will be a solo trip entirely for Shan. So yeah, I'm going to quickly put my lashes on, because we all know I get a bit flustered. And then we need to decide what on earth we're doing with the hair, and what on earth we're wearing. See you in a minute. Ta-da! I've gone very cash but comfy. Probably not the best being in black, so that's why I've shushed it up with the jacket. But, this is what we've gone for. We've gone for a checkered shirt, just in case it gets a bit chilly, which I don't think it will. But I always like to have a layer and I don't really like the tops of my arms, do I? I've just got a black vest top, my black cycling shorts with a little bit of lace from New Look and my good old running shoes of 270s because they are life for me at the moment, absolute life. So I thought, you know what, I'll be comfy. I've got a jacket just in case it gets a little bit um chilly. But what I am going to do, I have received another, let's pop you on there, let's move that. A little birthday present so one of my lovelies she sent me a message on Instagram and she was like there's a birthday present coming for you and I was like oh my goodness now if you remember when I done the taste testing American candy it was from my good friend Paula and this is who this is from so thank you very much oh my goodness I think I need scissors one minute oh and the thing is guys what makes me laugh is this probably took quicker to come all the way from America than our British gas bill does. It's laughable, ain't it? Absolutely laughable. If you can get this from America and yet it takes weeks upon weeks to get something from within the same country. Oh my goodness, this is a very... Oh God. Oh, I'm losing my strength here, Paul. I'm definitely going to need a swig of beer in that uh, Burger King breakfast. Let's have a look. I don't want to like rip it, rip it. I want to be gentle. Oh, hold on. Hey, presto, we're getting there. So, yes, um, and once again, thank you so, so much to everyone regarding my birthday. As you can still see, I have my Queen for a Day balloon. It's still staying strong. I reckon this week might be the last week we get out of it because she's slowly going down, but she's staying. Oh, oh goodness gracious me. Very, very good packaging better packaging than what we get in old england oh bless what is this oh <gasps> no she never not paula birthday girl miss shannon lee oh my god that is so cute that is so going in the memory box as well okay like really what are you doing? So I have a cake batter chocolate truffle bar with colourful confetti from Seattle chocolate. Oh my god, look at that. I'm actually going to be trying that when I get back in. Oh my god, I love this. Your Seattle chocolate purchase supports Girls Inc. Inspiring all girls to be strong, smart and bold. Oh my god, I love that. I love that brand messaging. Absolutely fabulous. And then... This, mm -mm. oh my god, guys, Canon. Canon's not going to blooming focus now, is it? You have, oh my goodness, you have spoiled me. Oh. <gasps>
So if you know, for my birthday, I actually picked up a Dior red lipstick, a satin that I'd had in my eye for ages, a nice red lip. And I was like, oh my god, I can get a nude. Oh my god. Paul has very kindly the Rouge Dior Fie Fieva Forever Intense Couture Colour Transfer Proof Lipstick in the shade Forever Nude Look 100. And look, is that not just the perfect nude for me? I wish I'd put it on my lips now. Damn it, but best believe when I uh, wear this on my lips, I will be telling you what it is. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have actually spoiled me. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much. Oh my god, I am so lucky. That has just kicked off today even better i've got chocolate when i come home i've got another card for the memory box and a fabulous lipstick oh my goodness thank you Mwah. so so much i will message you tonight when i get back but talking of getting going i've got to get my tush into gear because yeah i need to go get petrol so i shall see you i don't know what footage we're going to get now because dada's going to be in control of the camera on the way up will he be able to just hold it for me i don't know we shall see, but yeah, let's hit the road. Well, we haven't stopped off for food or drink, but we've had to stop off because Dada wants the food. We've literally got 27 minutes left. It took us actually all round through the houses. Um, so it's been a little bit of a scene so through. Sure. It is... Huh? 20 to 11 20 to 11 we uh, have had a little bit of a detour it's just took us I wanted to choose a longer route anyway because I didn't want to go through like London area and it said Wembley that there was a concert so there was going to be traffic I feel like my eyelash is really irritating me as well these never happen these are like my go-to eye laws and yeah you know, you can just feel that irritate him. So we've got 28 minutes left. We're going to get there for quarter past 11. The tour is at 12, so that will give us time. Chill, he'll probably want another fag. And then get in for the tour. It's actually not too bad. It's very muggy. And I've just looked down at my um, cycling shorts, and this probably wasn't the best time to wear a brand new flannel shirt. Wow, he was going fast. I tell you what, guys, Dada's moaning because I hit 80 a few times, and I'm like, these cars are like bombing down. So, I'm like, what is the rules? I obviously know the rules, but how are these cars not getting flashed? Who knows? Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have bought a new flannel shirt with black cycling shorts because now they seem to have transferred on on my cycling shorts. So, yeah. That's fun. Um, probably sit here for five, ten minutes while he has a smoke. He's already had a can of, it's like a peach cocktail. I'm like, really? He's like, oh, I want to get started early. I'm like, oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm looking forward to food. I need to sort these eyelashes out because it's really irritating me. And my eye is, like, getting bloodshot now. And I don't know why. This never normally happens with my eyelids. But now, like, I hate pulling into lay bars because now we have to, like, gauge when it's empty and get going. All done. He's all smoked out. Right. Oh, we are here. And you know I said my top has transferred to the cycling shorts. It's also transferred onto my top. Fabulous. So I um, really did not think this through so i think i'm gonna have to do it up because now my vest top is absolutely covered but then it defeats the object of having it as a throw over my trainers are going to get ruined here because i completely forgot they're like dirt paths around this area and my car started like smelling of burning about five minutes before we got here and i heard like a rattling and i was like what on earth is that i was like i don't know if i've clipped stone and it's thing we've just lifted the bonnet Everything looks all right. Dada's like, well, it shouldn't be getting that hot. I'm like, right, checked my levels. My coolant's fine. My water's fine. 
my oil's fine my eye is still itching like a bitch um so yes it looks there's loads of horses driving um i think there was only one clip of driving because dad i got very agitated holding the camera <laughs> so i don't know if it's um the best footage but has he gone walking over i think he wanted to see if the brewery was open because he was a little peckish we was going to stop for food but then decided not but it's actually quite overcast here now so i'm kind of glad i have a jacket because i feel like it's going to actually pour down with rain it's not open yet is it no we've got to wait for um for it to open but yeah the car hopefully should get us home she should do bugs okay i said i didn't have any warning signals come on so that should be fine but yeah we shall see i'm gonna put you on the little tripod and then when we go in it will be all to do with the brewery he's got his new clothes on he's got his new jacket and his jeans on which is jeans he still had the sticker on you know and it says like what waist and leg it is i can't find my holder but i have my sticky thing this can do this can work well i say work partially work god knows where the holder is but it should be able to get the majority off ah. crisis averted it actually feels quite cold now cold but it's overcast it's not hot hot Crisis averted. I feel like I'm back on the farm again. Hello. He's not bothered. Oh, bless you. You got hay fever, mate? Yes, so have I. Oh, and there's some, like, the Black Beauty horses down there. This is very, like, look at this. My trainers are going to get absolutely ruined. I'm still here. Oh, there's a little one. Oh, bless you. He's very sneezy. And then you've got, look at that gorgeous one down there. Majestic. You've got some, oh, there's a little one up by a fence down here. Oh, he's got real bad hay fever, isn't he? I literally feel like, oh God, you're well zoomed in. You don't need to be that. There's dad like, dad's not good with wildlife. You can't touch him. He's not good with wildlife at all. I like this little one. The little black and white. This reminds me kind of a, like a Shetlandy pony style. Obviously it's not a Shetland pony, but you get the gist of it and then who's this little guy hiding here hello ah he's chilling cute look at you he's got a big finger thumb oh hello he don't look happy down there at least it's a big space for him Got loads of space that one's got like purple in its bum like a marking maybe you're not good with nature or animals <laughs> so we don't know actually if this is to do with jeremy clarkson because you would have seen he had a big face as you come up so I don't know if it is, let us know, because there's obviously a sign that says something like, if me, this could be. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We are, what's the time now? 22. Um, some other people went in and said, could we get a drink? And they said no. So we've got to just wait. So 20 minutes. But I'm trying to see where potentially the brewery is, because with the distilleries, there's normally like a big outback unit, but there's nothing like that here so yeah don't know we'll have to have a little movie on.
It's very hot. Over three hours. Did you have any rain here? Not yet. Coming back, we had like about half hour of torrential downpour, like mist, lights come on, everything. Lightning. Yeah, well, we've got that to come, evidently. There weren't any driving back footage because Dada fell asleep for an hour and a half. Oh, right. So I had to deal with his snoring. Oh. And then when he woke up, we there's a lot of like mini roundabouts and like roundabouts to yeah. get onto the A roads and that. Oh right. There's a petrol station and this geezer tried pulling out. I weren't letting him out, I knew that. But obviously as the geezer's tried, I've gone off, but Dad's seen the driver. He's leaning out the window as we're going down the motorway, shouting to the guy to pull over on the hard shoulder. No <coughs> Was he a bit worse for wear? I'm like, it's my car. Shut up. Yeah. There's all tobacco on the passenger seat. Oh, well, I'll sort that out. Because at the beginning when we left, it was so <coughs> crawly. So I said, you can have one. Well, one turned into about four or five. Yeah. And now I've got half a tobacco patch on my floor that right. went in the creases of the seat and he just, like, fluffed it onto the floor instead of fluffing it out oh, of the car. Oh, that's right. I'll go out and do that in a minute. So I was like, great. Then he's, like, randomly shouting at another person in the car and I'm like, it's my car. Was he drunk? Yes, he was pretty plastered. Because that's actually... coming back? They gave you proper pints on the tour. Oh, it no. Was, it weren't little ones. Oh, God. So he had a pint of a Pilsner, oh, 3.8. Right. All right. Then he had a pint of lager. Then he right. had a pint of IPA. Then he had a pint of premium. Then he had a pint of cider. Then you had your meal. Then they was going to bring out the shots of vodka, and I was like, no, we've got to go. We've got a lunch reservation. Yeah. And then he's had two large glasses of wine. Right. So he's very... Worst yeah, for wear. He took the bottle of vodka that I've got him for Father's Day already, and I said, please do not smash that because it's £35. Oh, my God. So I got him some bits for Father's Day because I haven't got him much. So I got him four bottles of the beer. Yeah. A bottle of the vodka he wanted, and then a glass. What, what, what a 70-foot oh. se vodka. Yeah, I got a matching glass. It's just got, like, the brewery on it. Oh, right. So That's I got nice. him one with them. Right. But, yeah, so um, that was eventful. Trying to get parked for the pub. Oh, my God. It's because it's all little oldie woldy villages, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Absolute nightmare. The drive down weren't too bad. It literally took us round the houses. I don't know if there'd have been a problem on one of the motorways. Oh, right. We went all the way through the back of the houses. From the brewery to the pub was literally like two minutes. So, that wasn't oh, too right. bad. But it was just the parking. Yeah. was horrendous. About... Food nuts? Food was nice. Um, I said no starters. Dad, I wanted starters. Oh, right. So I had a roast pork. He had a roast sirloin, but we swapped like a piece of meat each. So we had oh, right. one of each. Yeah. I wanted some cauliflower cheese and Dad, I wanted scampi. So they all brought it out. He then wanted another glass of wine. I just had sparkling water because I was driving. But when we was driving up about five, ten minutes before we was thingy, the car started making a rattling noise. 
Oh, right. And he thought it was my keys. So I held my keys as I was driving. I could hear something rattling. Yeah. And then I smelt burning and I'm like, oh, my God, no. Don't do this to me. So when we pulled into the place, I lifted the bonnet. Everything seemed all right. I said it might have just... He was like, well, that's red hot. I was like, she has been driving for three hours constantly at like 80 miles an hour. She ain't had a good run like that for ages. No, no. And and also, uh, take that bit of antifreeze with you tomorrow. Well, all my levels look all right. He pulled the dipstick out for the oil. That was yeah, fine. well, I'll check the oil, but I can't always... Because this weather, the antifreeze gets used quicker. No, but my cooler is fine because I didn't have anything come up on the dashboard like engine hot or anything. Oh, didn't you? Sticking at the normal temperature. Well, ask your, ask your friend tomorrow so, at work, Scott, to have a look. I just thought, I said, like, well, it has is been. Is it all right coming back? Yeah, I said, it's been like driving constant. Oh, it was going up that smoke of burning. So he was obviously being melodramatic. Yeah. We pulled up at like half 11 ish, went and saw the horses. He asked if we could get served. They don't obviously serve till 12. So he weren't very happy with that. And then when I went and checked in, they gave you a pint. I just had Sprite. I've actually had no alcohol today. The first tour that I've done and I've not had any alcohol. Well, I had, little, have a little gin I had now. two little mouthfuls of the cider. That was very nice, the cider. Oh, right. And Jeremy Clarkson is an investor in the brewery. Oh, right. Because his face was everywhere. Oh, Dada said the tour guide was a little bit boring. I mean, it was very long-winded. It's probably longer than, like, the gin distillery tours I've done. Oh, right, yeah. But he seemed to like it. At one point, he almost fallen up. He almost fell over to the point where people didn't know whether he was paralytic or if he was old. He was old. His feet was hurting because he had them shoes on and not his trainers. So he's moaning that his shoes are too tight for him now. Well, I've got a bit more of the toe now off then. Go on, hell. <laughs> so he was moaning about that. He was moaning that his hair hasn't been cut. Oh, my God, he loved I said this week, did he want it? <laughs> his hair hadn't been cut. Oh, oh. Um, he, had, he had all of his new clothes on, though. He had his jeans. He had the polo no, and what? the vest and then moaned that he was too hot. And I told him you didn't need the vest on as well as the polo. What, the cardigan? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> moaning that he was hot. I was like, you don't need it. And then... He's asleep now. I can go and he's asleep. Oh, yeah, he'll be in and out for the camp. Yeah. He said he might have a jar of muscles tonight. I was like, I don't want no. anything. He didn't eat any... Of... tomorrow? He didn't eat any of the cauliflower cheese, so I had that to myself. Oh, he's off. He had oh, half right. a scampi, and then he started to eat his mane, and I know with Dad when he's full, because he starts picking at his food, yeah. and I was like, don't waste it, because it was freaking expensive roast dinner, like, right. you eat it, so he start, he gets like the Yorkshire, and he's like, oh, right. yeah. And I'm like, eat it, then he gets a bit of beef, dips it in the horseradish, and before I can say to him, like, remember it's hot, he's like, <coughs> having a coughing fit, because the horseradish oh, is yeah, too spicy, yeah, yeah, and I'm right. like... So he danced a glass of wine for the horseradish. Oh, so I was right. like, well, that oh. come in handy. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was like, well, if you're not going to eat it, don't eat it. Don't pick around with your food. And this couple looked as if to be like, I was the parent and he was the child because he was just kind of like, you know, when he pushes it around his plate. Did, did you have to book that dinner mm. then? Yeah. Good oh. job we did. It was heaving. Right. Was it a little country pub then? Yeah. Oh. I mean, he had a fit at the bill. So <laughs> I had to have an email receipt because they, they're paperless. Oh, right. So the um, so what did you have a starter each? No, no. Oh, so we had a roast beef, yeah, and a roast pork. Right. The roast pork was twenty two, and the roast beef was twenty four. No, it was nice though. Oh right. Oh, a bit like Dancer Henry's. Sparkling water, two pound. I didn't think that was too bad. Oh, no, that's not too bad, yeah. Uh, scampi was eight pound for a starter, but it was <gasps> nice scampi. They were big bits, I'll give him that. A large cauliflower cheese was seven pound fifty, which I thought was to share. Standard, yeah. But he didn't want any, but it was really nice. It was proper oh, right. extra mature. But that's a bit like in London, the starters, isn't it? And then he had two glasses of wine at nine pound a pop. Oh, <gasps> no! So with your service charge, because they have a 10% service charge, our meal come to £89.65. He was like, how much is a glass of wine? Four quid. I was like, a portion of onion rings is a fiver. Like, no. Yeah, when but, I looked, I but thought, how big was the thing? Was it a 275? It was a 250. 250. A big one. Yeah, yeah. All right. But considering he had like four or five pints beforehand. Yeah, and did he drink that wine? Yes, he did. He's definitely it. got a drink problem then. <laughs> he was like, well, good job on my work tomorrow. I was like, yeah, but I'm not. Yeah. And then when I... I I weren't letting the geezer out, and he knew that. And I don't know if he looked at the driver or the driver says saying, but the whole way down, he's like literally leaning out the window. When we're at the traffic lights, he's spinning around in the seat, shouting to him through the thing, get out of the car, get I'm like, oh, 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 what, what, what's the other man like, a youngster? Probably in their 30s. 
Oh, they they probably might have said to him, "Oh, well, man, it's your daughter driving," so they would have been like, it. Shut up. He's oh, like he's spinning been, round in his chair. He's being protective then, isn't he? No, but I didn't care. No. I wasn't letting the guy out. The guy knew that. And I think as the Did guy you edged the... out, Dan must have looked at a driver or someone said something, whatever. And then all of a sudden he's like spinning round in his seat at the traffic lights, calling him every name under the sun. We're going past on the motorway. He's like, pull over. I'm like, oh, shut up. It's my car. Shut up. Oh, so the man went off another direction. Oh, thank God. Well, no, we, um... Oh, speak of the devil. What's it, Dad? What does he want? Hello? Oh, it's probably because you've been on your feet all day. Oh, we'll have to keep your feet elevated. Oh, you'll have to just lift them up on the bed. Oh, oh, you'll be asleep soon anyway. Okay then, hooky dogs. All right then, all right, ta-da, bye, bye, bye. His feet are swollen, that's what he wanted to show me. He oh, took his it? socks off and his feet's all swollen. Oh, his feet? I thought you said his ankles. Well, his ankles, whatever. Oh, right, I just oh. didn't keep him elevated, so yeah. Well, he's probably been walking about a bit, hasn't he? Well, right. after halfway through the tour, he couldn't stand, so he like went to sit on someone. I'm like, don't sit on that, that's the freaking crate of... It's the keg, you can't oh, sit right. on that, yeah. you should fall through it, for God's sake. <laughs> so yeah, it was an eventful ride back. I might just buy him a pair of sliders for a laugh. He's got a pair in the cupboard. So, look, if your feet are well, hurting... He's got plenty of trainers. I don't know why he didn't wear trainers. Yeah, yeah, I might have to just do the toenail a bit more because he said it wasn't too bad because I've got the sanding block. <laughs> I'm doing the top. And when I did it, he said, oh, that's all right. He said, you might have to take a bit more next time. I said, all right then. So, yes, I don't know. I try to slightly so what get happened... him in. What happened with the uh, vodka then? No, was they that... come round. They was coming round with like neat shots of vodka, but the tour started late. Right. So I said to the man, like, no, sorry, we've got to go. Yeah. He's Did got you a bottle. go to the shop? No, I bought it all beforehand because I didn't want it to be late for the meal. Oh right, right. Did they have a little shop then? It wasn't really a shop. It was yeah. just a stand. But, um, oh. Yeah, so it was a beautiful day. I don't know how much you would have seen of Dada. Cause as soon as I got the camera, out, it was like turn it off. So I try to slyly get bits and bobs, yeah. but who knows? So yes, that is a memory day, but not with this one for a change. It was with Dada. I had to go. But to next wait. week, we are at the Shard. Next Sunday. Yeah. <sighs> Pluck up your courage. Yes, <laughs> but guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And let us know if you've ever been to a brewery, a gin distillery, anything like that at all. But take care, stay safe as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.